I was like, what? How is this? How is this possible? I don't do drugs. This is this is not OK. All new this morning and only on seven, a town of Tonawanda mom explains the agony that she suffered on what was supposed to be a joyous day. So the same thing doesn't happen to you. Now she says this bagel is the reason the doctor separated her from her newborn right after she gave birth. Seven Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller explains why and is giving you a heads up this morning. Baby Carter Dominguez and Mom Elizabeth are enjoying time at their town of Tonawanda home a week after Carter was brought into the world. I'm shocked I didn't wake up. But it's the journey here and what Elizabeth ate before she gave birth that's made this new mom experience anything but easy. And I just want like everyone to know that this could happen. Like this is like such a terrible thing and I don't want it to happen to anyone. When Elizabeth got to the hospital, she was asked for a urine sample. And it came back that I tested positive for opiates. So I called my husband, freaking out. I was like, what? How is this? How is this possible? I don't do drugs. This is this is not OK. Her husband, Mark, asked what she had to eat. A bagel and I had a sub. I was like, that's all I pretty much ate. And he's like, it's it was from the bagel. And I'm like, no way. A bagel that was covered in poppy seeds like this one. Poppy seeds are derived from the opium plant, but can eating them flip a drug test positive? Depending on how well the poppy seeds are washed, because they come from that same plant, they can contain um, some uh, residue of either morphine or codeine on the exterior. Dr. Michelle Ranka, a clinical pharmacist at Dent Neurologic Institute, says it's entirely possible and anyone who will be taking a drug test should know this. Anywhere from one to three bagels with poppy seeds can produce um, positive tests on a urine toxicology. Dominguez gave birth later that day, and her baby's tests for opiates came back negative. Still, the hospital monitored Carter for withdrawal, and because of Elizabeth's failed drug test, hospital staff followed protocol and called CPS. Questioning me, like, asking me all sorts of questions, saying, like, if we are to take your baby and your kids away from you, um, where would you like them to go? Elizabeth was discharged, but Carter had to stay, separating mom and baby less than 24 hours after birth. Absolutely horrible. I felt like a terrible mother leaving him. These reports show Elizabeth did have a false positive because of that poppy seed bagel. Well, my kids are my everything, you know what I mean? I live for my children. I love my children, and it's just like, how are you going to threaten to take my kids away from me?